This is what you'll need. Start by tracing out the size of your cards. I'm going to have six bridesmaids, so I'll be making six cards by cutting each piece of paper in half. Fold each piece of paper in half to form your cards. Next, we'll be tracing the first letter of the name on the front of the card. To make this easier, I'll be copying off a font from my laptop. I'll be using the font Dido. Lightly trace each letter using your pencil and your ruler. I'll be making an L, two A's, a K, a B, and an M. When you're done tracing each letter with a pencil, trace it with the permanent marker. Make sure you leave the thicker parts of the font empty. Next, we're going to paint in the parts of the letters that we left empty. I'm going to go with this dark purpley red. You can pick any color or even make it match your wedding colors. Don't worry too much about staying in the lines or having the colors even. It's kind of all part of the watercolor look. Next, we'll be adding a leafy crown around the letters and then adding little speckles with that dark color that you chose for the letters. I'll be using a light gray blue to make the leaves. Form the crown by starting at the side of the letter to the base of the letter. Do the same thing on the other side and join the two sides of the crown together. Then lastly, add the little speckles of color. Do the same thing with the rest of your letters. Inside the cards, I'm going to write, will you be my bridesmaid for my bridesmaids? And since I have two sisters and I can't decide between the two for my maid of honor, I will write, will you be my co-maid of honor in two of the cards? If you're not the best at lettering like me, I suggest that you practice on a separate piece of paper writing your message beforehand. To emphasize the question and add a touch of color, I'll be going over it with a brush. Just make sure that your color is really watered down so it's not too dark. I will then add a personalized message inside each of the cards for each of the bridesmaids. 